everyone, it's me Scooby and I'm here with Would You Rather Quizzes. This one is the hardest Disney versus Harry Potter Would You Rather that you will ever take apparently. So, let's see what kind of questions they have in store for us today. And how would the majority I am answer these questions as honestly as possible? Would you rather have your own genie lamp or have your very own wand? Well, a genie lamp only gives you three wishes. Three wishes. I can talk. And a wand would just be amazingly awesome. So I would much rather have a wand. And so would 89% of people. That's cool. So far we're with the majority. Alright. Would you rather live at Hogwarts or live in the Beast Castle? Now. This one's a little more complicated because Hogwarts is awesome. But then you have all your teachers and stuff telling you what to do. And, you know, all the things trying to kill you. And Beast Castle is amazingly gorgeous. It's, and it's secluded, so you can have some time to yourself. I think I'd probably rather live in Beast Castle, honestly. Nobody else wants to go to Hogwarts. I'd like to go to Hogwarts for school, but I wouldn't want to live there full time. There's a lot going on at that place. Would you rather travel by broom or travel by magic carpet? Okay, I would rather travel by broom because there's, you know, something to hold on to and you see more balance than just sitting on a carpet flying around. So yeah, I'd rather travel by broom. 51% of people should travel by broom. Okay. Would you rather have Rapunzel's magic hair able to heal anything? Or have the or have the invisibility cloak and be able to sneak around. Hmm. Tough one, tough one. Being able to heal people would be kinda cool, but all that hair would be very annoying. Being able to go visible whenever you wanted and sneak around is kinda fun. So I, I wanna do that one. 65% of people would rather have an invisibility cloak, and 35% would rather have Rapunzel's magic hair. Alright, would you rather be a part of the Parr family and choose your own superpower, or be a part of the Weasley family? Um, the, the Incredibles seem to be very busy a lot, and always getting into trouble and you know one of the parents is always gone the kids are by themselves the weasley family all seems to have a lot of fun together and they have a big family lots of siblings i think i'd rather be a weasley plus then i could go to school at hogwarts uh 54 percent of people would rather be in incredibles because they could have a superpower but if you're a weasley or you're a witch or wizard and can have a wand would you rather turn into a werewolf every four, full moon or turn into a beast until you find true love? Werewolves are awesome. But you have no control over what you do when you turn into a werewolf. And you know, that's something that would never go away. But then if you turn into a beast until you find true love, you might never find true love until it's too late. Or I guess it doesn't say there's a time limit on it. So. I don't know. That one's hard. It'd be kind of cool to be a werewolf. But then you wouldn't be yourself. If you're a beast, you can still be yourself. You just look like a beast. Huh? But the wolves. I don't know. Plus, turning into a werewolf on every full moon would be kind of painful. It looks extremely painful. In the movies, so... Let's just say beast. 73% of people would rather turn to a werewolf every full moon. I'm not in the majority on this one at all. I don't think they considered how much pain they go through every full moon. Besides, it might kill your family and friends and stuff. Would you rather eat grubs for dinner for a week or have detention with Umbridge every Saturday for a year? 
I, I would not want to eat a grub ever. They look absolutely disgusting. So I'd rather have detention with umbrage. Yeah, I'd rather have detention every Saturday for a year. It's just one year and one just once a week. So uh, everybody else would rather eat grubs. That's gross. They'd be all slimy and sticky when they go down your throat. Ew. Would you rather have Ursula steal your voice for a year or have a lightning shaped scar that gives you headaches every time you watch your favorite show? So, would you rather not be able to talk or suffer from migraines? I already suffer from migraines. And having that scar would be pretty cool. I don't know if I could go a whole year without talking. Like, that would be kind of annoying to not be able to talk at all. I think I'd rather have a score. Oh, good. I'm with the majority on this one. 60% to 40%. Well, with state farm insurance. Would you rather have Dolby as your BFF or have Baymax as your BFF? Oh, that's not a fair question at all. I mean, Baymax can heal you and stuff. He knows how to be like a doctor, so. But Dolby's so awesome. I don't know, he's always getting into trouble and trying to hurt you to keep you from doing stuff. So. I don't know. Oh, uh, this is difficult. I don't know. I, 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 I'm so confused right now. No, I'd rather have Dolby. Dolby be my best friend, because he can vanish and come back and do magic. 56% of people would rather have Baymax, and 44% would rather have Dolby, and that is kind of close. Yeah, okay. Would you rather... Have brunch with Ursula and Hades and sassily judge people or go to drink with Hagrid and Dumbledore. Go out drinking with Hagrid and Dumbledore. I, I don't like judging people at all. Although, they probably be... Hades would be a uh, hoot to hang out with. He's hilarious. But I'd rather hang out with Hagrid and Dumbledore. Yeah, 63% to 37%. Would you rather be an international Quidditch superstar or have ice powers to rule your own kingdom? Oh, there's no question about this. I'd much rather play Quidditch. Really? Have your own ice powers and rule your own kingdom? I wouldn't want to rule my own kingdom. That is too much responsibility and too much work. I'd much rather just play Quidditch. The college near me has a Quidditch team. Obviously, they don't fly, but they... Run around on broomsticks and play Quidditch. So it's kind of cool. Would you rather have Barry Poppins as your nanny or have Cyrus Black as your uncle? Oh, well, that's just unfair. I never had a nanny. I had babysitters. And spent time with other family when my parents didn't feel like watching me. But I never had a nanny. I've been a nanny. I worked as a nanny for many years. Uh, I don't know. Mary Poppins is a lot of fun, though. Oh, wow. I am way in the minority on this one. 74 to 26%. Would you rather be a Animagus or live in Neverland and never grow up? Oh, I'd rather be an Animagus. I, I don't think I'd want to live in Neverland forever. Yeah, I'd much rather be able to turn into an animal. That would be amazing. Would you rather have Remy as your personal chef or eat a meal in the Great Hall? Oh. Well, no doubt I'd rather eat a meal in the Great Hall. I can cook my own food. So, I don't need a chef. 
so I, I'd much rather eat in the Great Hall. 76% to 24%. Okay, would you rather never watch a Disney movie ever again or never read a Harry Potter book ever again? Okay, so this is just in between if you prefer to read books or watch movies. And I much prefer to watch movies. I'd be okay without having to, to read a book ever again. Well, a Harry Potter book. Because I could watch the movie, although the books are really good, I would never not be able to watch a Disney movie. I mean, that's a lot of movies. Disney makes so many movies. And now Disney owns Star Wars, so you couldn't even watch Star Wars. So, yeah, I, I'd much rather never read Harry Potter book again. 61 to 39%. So, that's cool. Home cook versus. Wait, what? This an ad. Oh, I guess that's the end of the quiz. Okay. Well, that's the end of that one. Let's see if we can find another one. That was fun. I was in the majority for most of them. Right? Yeah. I think I was only in the minority for a couple. Alright, hold on. I'll be back. Alright, this one is the ultimate would you rather. Okay. Would you rather drive the fastest car in the world or star in a huge viral video? Well, considering the fact that I do YouTube, does that count as starring in a huge viral video? Is it YouTube videos? I would think so. That would be what I would want to do. Doesn't say what kind of viral video. not telling me right away so maybe they'll tell me at the end who picked what. Would you rather be the smartest person in the world or the richest person in the world? I would rather be the smartest person in the world. I don't really care about money. Money, money is money. But I would not want to be ignorant so I'd rather want to be the smartest person in the world. Would you rather be appointed leader of the free world or become famous? Neither. I mean, being a leader of the world is so much work and, and so much responsibility, like I said earlier, like being responsible for your own kingdom or whatever. I wouldn't want that much responsibility put on me. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Become famous. I care less if I'm famous or not, but I'd rather be famous than be a leader of the free world. Would you rather be haunted by a ghost or abducted by aliens? Hmm. Depends on what the aliens wanted to do with me. That would be kind of cool though. Be haunted by a ghost. This is a ghost, not a demon or, you know, a poltergeist, which is a ghost, but bad, right? So, I'd rather be haunted by a ghost. Because who knows what the aliens would want to do. Would you rather wear a beard of... Wait. Yeah. Wear a beard of bees or eat the world's hottest chili pepper. I would not want to wear the beard of bees. And I like really spicy food. So I could do that. Spicy food is good for you anyway. You just don't want to eat too much. You burn your stomach. Would you rather take a time machine... Forwards in time or take a time machine backwards in time? Okay. I don't, don't want to know my own future. I'd like that to be a surprise. And I, as cool as it would be to be able to go back in time, I would be afraid to go back in time because I wouldn't want to mess anything up. Because if I went back in time and did one thing wrong, moved one thing, you know, stepped on a bug or something, it could rearrange the entire outlay of the present. Uh, but going forward in time, seeing how my life played out, I mean, wouldn't you still be able to mess stuff up if you go forwards in time? I don't know. Maybe if you went forwards in time and didn't like what you saw, you could do something to change it. But see, then that just messes up a whole bunch of stuff too. Shouldn't mess with time. I'm 
time time travel should not be done ever I don't know if I had to choose though I'd rather go back in time and go see the dinosaurs I have no interest in seeing my future until it's present so yeah would you rather switch lives with any celebrity or live for 200 years oh I would live for 200 years because it's not living forever and the change in the world from for two over 200 year span would be incredible to see like the change from a hundred years ago to now is like amazing just from the past like 20 years the technology and stuff developed has been just mind boggling how quickly they develop stuff nowadays so I'd much rather live for 200 years would you rather spend an entire year in outer space or spend an entire year exploring the depths of the ocean? No question about this one. I would much rather be spend a year exploring outer space. I think that outer space is awesome and I would love the option to go explore there. And if there wasn't a chance that rockets would explode when you go up in them, I would love to travel in space someday. But the idea of blowing up in a rocket would prevent me from wanting to do that at this point. Don't get me wrong though, exploring the ocean would be amazing. There's so many different species of fish and all kinds of stuff down there. And so much of the ocean we haven't even touched. So you never know what you'd find down there. If there was no end to how deep you could go into the ocean, that would be amazing to see. But I'd still rather be in space. Would you rather have the power of invisibility or the power of flight? Does that mean you'd be invisible all the time? I mean, I wouldn't want to be invisible all the time. Flying would be kind of cool. I'd probably rather fly myself than have to fly in a plane. So. so I guess the power of flight. Then I could get from one place to another and I could travel a lot. That would be kind of cool to just be able to fly wherever you wanted to, see the world. Would you rather receive or give a wedding proposal during a major sports event? Sing the national anthem on live television. Ooh. Both of those are horrible. Um, I, I wouldn't want to receive a wedding proposal during a major sporting event because that's a lot of attention being brought on you all at once I and mean, that's insane and that would wind up on TV too that that was crazy and singing in front singing the national anthem on live TV I mean that would be so nerve wracking I don't think I could do that I think I think my anxiety would prevent me from doing that so uh, I, I don't know. I guess I'd rather the wedding proposal giving one or, you know, receiving one. It's, that's still, it's such a cliche thing to do. I guess some people think it's romantic, so. Would you rather live in the woods for a week with no equipment or live in a fully stocked glass box in Times Square? The woods, well, the woods definitely, because the woods are amazing, and you know, you could totally survive out in the woods for a week with nothing. So this didn't give me percentages or anything, so it wasn't really a would you, I mean it was a would you rather, but it didn't, I don't know what most people had picked, and that's frustrating. Uh, I got gusty daredevil. Adrenaline is your lifeblood and you're always looking for new adventures to bring that next big rush. There's a lot of world out there for you to see and you plan to experience it all in its very fullest. Um, if you say so. Okay. Well, uh, I think that'll be it for the quizzes today. So, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.